you've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. Listen to me very closely, winners win and losers lose. And there are those of you out there, you lose it and you don't deserve to lose. You put in the work, you worked hard and you lose it. And I need you to do me a favor. This is the year to turn that around. The people that are running after their dream know they're gonna have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. Listen to me very closely. Some of you are broke. Listen to me, you flat out broke. Right, you ain't got gas money. And we're not just talking about money. You broke in your relationships, you broke in your health, and you're not broke because you have to be. Right, and I'm telling you, your whole life is gonna change. If you, would, if you would get off the couch, stop playing video games. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. You've got to learn how to become resourceful. You've got to learn how to become creative. Like for real, you broke. If you broke, you broke. Stop complaining. Stop going to a job you don't like. You are broke. Listen to me, you're going to a job you don't like. You've been there 15, 20 years. I ain't tripping on a job. I'm not even saying you should quit the job. But I'm saying that after you get off work, just like you invest in them, you need to invest in yourself. And the problem is simple. You're not investing in your idea. That you're always looking for a way to get over, always looking for a way that you can break through, and always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow. And you're broke because you're not getting the eye. You're not understanding the eye. I told you last week. It is about an invention, an idea. And I've got to separate what I do from who I am. Listen to me, you ain't got, you can, you, your phone getting cut off, on and off, listen to me, you are broke. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this, that it's hard. But you've got to say, I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. As you work to help other people to become successful, that feeds your success. That if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that your dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or cold, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it. It's not over until I win. Asked him, said, how were you able, in spite of all of the negative publicity saying that you couldn't win, how did, how did you do it? He said, I ignored my critics. I just didn't pay any attention to them. I ignored myself because they kept on saying it so much. There were times I doubted whether or not I can do what I needed to do. 
See, the last chapter to your life has not been written yet. And it doesn't matter about what happened yesterday. It doesn't matter about the things that you've done that you feel guilty about. If you wouldn't do it today, you're convicting an innocent person. So I really want to be a certain kind of person, and I get a massive amount of chemical joy for being the kind of person I want to be, acting in accordance with that, being tough, doing the work, grinding it out, pushing forward, having a goal, going after it, developing myself, being the learner, like seeing how much potential I can actually wring out of myself. Because this is what I do, because, because, of that neurochemical rush that I get every time where, and don't let Chase hear this, but like when I'm up and I'm working at 4 a.m. and I know all my employees are sleeping, all my competitors are sleeping, and I'm grinding it out. And when I got up at 4 a.m. and I was working my ass off because you're wasting your life if you do all of that for something that you don't care about. And this is where it gets terrifying. You've gotta be excited about the future that you're building. That is the key. You've got to be really amped up about it. It's got to give you energy. When you think about doing that thing, it's got to really amp you up. And if it doesn't, then dear God, what are you doing? There's no moral obligation to go hard and live your life like I live mine. But man, let me tell you right now, if you're not doing things that excite you, if there's nothing in your life that you've built into this incredible, higher of excitement, you are really missing out. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. The disproportional reason so many people in here will not win, let's just get right to the chase. The disproportionate reason that most people in this room will not win is actually not the hard work, which is what I'm gonna talk about probably for the next 45 minutes. It's your lack of patience. I think there's literally 300 million different ways to win in the US. There is no blueprint, there is no exact way. It only comes down to being able to factor in the 40 or 50 indexes, input points, context points around your life. And then navigating through that and so what, what I really want is for people to understand, don't do it like me, don't do it like you, don't do it like Zucks, don't do it like Trap, don't do it like Cuban. And the lack of patience is what hurts so many people. If you decide, in any particular area that you're concerned about, to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to read one book a month in that area, in five years you'll be among the top 5% experts in the world. I read a minimum of two books a week. The average American reads only one book a year. If you decide that area that you love, that you are going to master that particular area, in this era of accelerated change, overwhelming complexity and tremendous competition, as you begin to develop and expand your skills and your talents and your vision of yourself, you will always be in control of your destiny and I'm saying to them you can live your dream it was hard ladies and gentlemen it was very difficult to pick myself up each day believing that I could do it there were times that I doubted myself I said God why why is this happening to me I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody why did this have to happen to me it was very hard and here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I would have my own talk show. It's a long shot, ladies and gentlemen, from Liberty City, an abandoned building on a floor never knowing my mother or father. It's a long shot being here with you today in this dome in Atlanta. It's a long shot. No college training, labeled, educable, mentally retarded, but I kept running toward my dream.
again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win.